Greetings. I'm the Reverend Jen Fenner of Epworth United Methodist Church in Gaithersburg, Maryland, and this is Transformed by Faith Today. This week we finish out our sequence on generosity, and today we focus on a core scripture, Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. Here, the wisdom is deep. Scripture tells us, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and the Lord will make straight your paths. I think it's powerful to consider that, first of all, trust comes from our hearts, that God encourages us to trust with all of our heart. Sometimes I think we pay little attention to the amount of pressure that is placed on our hearts to the ways in which our hearts are easily vulnerable to discontent, to resentment, to anger, to lack of forgiveness. When our hearts become filled or hardened by those things, it becomes very hard to trust in anyone or in anything, including in God. Part of what this verse speaks to me is that the ability to trust, to trust others, to trust the future, to trust ourselves, often starts with being able to trust in God, to trust that there is a God, a God that's created the heavens and the earth, to trust that there is a God that knows be my name, to trust that there is a a plan and a purpose for my life, to trust with all my heart And to not always lean on understanding the whys or the what's of everything that happens in my life, but to trust God. I also think it's interesting that Proverbs 3 goes from trusting the Lord with all our heart to then acknowledging him, to literally articulating not only that we trust God, but acknowledging all of the qualities of God, to to name and acknowledge that God is good, to name and acknowledge that God is present, to name and acknowledge that God heals, to name and acknowledge that God loved us first and therefore we have the capacity to love. And that when we acknowledge God, God makes straight our paths. There's scripture that tells us that we should guard our hearts because from our hearts flows everything else. And I invite us to consider today that from our hearts flows our capacity to trust, that from our hearts flows our capacity to see and acknowledge God in our everyday, that from our hearts flows the ability to lean in and to trust God, ourselves, others, the future, and to hear in a way that perhaps we can't hear when our hearts are hardened, to hear the ways that God leads us, that we would walk in straight paths, that we would walk on steady ground, that we would walk in the ways that lead to peace. Today, I invite you to begin trusting, not by trusting the world or trusting yourself, to begin by trusting the Lord with all your heart. And from that place of trusting, from that place of standing with God to trust all that will come for you in this world. God, we're grateful. We're grateful, first of all, that you made us, that you gave us hearts and that you know them. We're grateful that your word continually reminds us that we need to guard our hearts, to protect them, to take inventory of them, to be aware in the moments when we need your grace to soften them. We ask you, God, that you would give us the ability to trust you today. Even when we can't trust anything else, to trust you, to stop leaning so much on what we understand or can see in this world. And that from trusting you, God, you would give us a heart to acknowledge and declare all of the things that you are, provider, sustainer, redeemer, healer, friend, creator, And ultimately, God, that we would hear you, hear you well enough to walk in paths that are straight, that lead to peace, and that honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 